I think that Hopkins is uniquely positioned to cater to not only the individual academic experiences of its students, but also each student's research and clinical interests. So personally, I have worked in aging research and dementia research, and I'm very interested in working with older adults in clinical care. I was able to take courses uh, regarding the epidemiology of aging within the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health, and I was also able to, for the first time, work behind the bench in drug discovery research. I was very pleasantly surprised by our science professors and their enthusiasm for post-bac contributions inside and outside of the classroom. They were more than willing to meet up outside of class to talk about um, our path to medicine, their own path to their field of research or um, academia, to talk about letters of recommendation. I started the uh, pre-medical post-baccalaureate program at Hopkins in the second summer session uh, after a lot of my peers had begun. I took an introductory chemistry course in my undergraduate institution, so I was starting with the second general chemistry session. And I was nervous. I hadn't been in the classroom for a couple of years, and my peers had already just taken the final exam for the first chemistry session. And um, as I started in July, uh, without even expressing my concerns to my peers, one woman approached me and, and said, Gabriella, don't worry, we're going to get dinner and I'll make sure you're completely on top of things. I was floored. <laughs> um, I not only was hoping for that level of collaboration and compassion in the program, but this was also something I was looking forward to um, as part of a, my professional career in medicine.